Hey there, it's Pear. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you the uh, quick process of how I create my icon renders for the icon artwork that I do in Elden Ring. So uh, what I typically do for this is I use a software called Marmoset Toolbag. Um, I believe it is a paid software, so you will have to shell out some money to get it or obtain it through other means, which I will not discuss here. Um, now this software is pretty intuitive, it has uh, quite a few nice features, um, it's similar to any other 3D software that you might have used, 3DS Max, Blender, uh, X, XSI Soft Image, which was way back in the day, woo! Anyway, um, so the first thing that I usually do with Marmoset is I would go up to File, and then New Scene. So this is going to create a scene file where you'll essentially import all of your mesh into, your 3D mesh for your model, and then you'll just, you know, drop in textures and do all that. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm actually going to use a pre-made scene uh, that I made uh, for the DS2 armors here. Uh, this is the template scene that I created, um, and I made a tool in my GitHub that actually batch automates all of this stuff, and it's in this repository, the Elden Ring Icon Maker. It's essentially just a single Python script, and it has a description down here. And all you actually have to do is place this in the plugins folder within your Marmoset uh, directory. Yeah, so if you look in this folder here, uh, you can see there, uh, and essentially it's located in your app data local, and then Marmoset Toolbag 4, uh, should be pretty easy to find. And then inside of the plugins folder, this is where you would drop in the Python script that I have in my GitHub repository. And then in Marmoset, it'll show up as a plugin, which I'll demonstrate to you in a minute. So what I'll go ahead and do is just drag and drop the template scene onto this guy, and as you can see, uh, within the scene itself, we actually have four cameras. We have Elden Ring legs, and I just put ER as a prefix because I was porting these to Elden Ring. So we have legs, arms, body, and head. And all of these are essentially different cameras that have been set up in different uh, positions. And this is how I actually got the same consistent angles across for pretty much every icon that I was uh, doing, which is kind of nice. Now, to use uh, the plugin, essentially all you have to do is go up to the Edit menu up here, and then Plugins, and then the Elden Ring Icon Maker should show up in here. And when you click on uh, this, you'll see you have four buttons. You have Set Template Scene, which in this case is going to be your uh, TV scene, and that's the template file, which is right here. So I'll just navigate to that guy. There it is. All right, so then all I do is click open. And then uh, once it's set the template scene, you then have to set the folder where all of your model files are. Now, these model files, I believe, do have to be in FBX format. So basically, all you have to do is just uh, drag and drop your FBX files inside of here. And then uh, what will happen is the tool will iterate through all of the FBX files, and for each FBX, it will find the textures associated with that FBX inside of this textures folder. And in the textures folder, you just throw all of the textures for every model inside of here. Now, you're probably wondering, how does the tool automatically know which textures should go with which model? That's a great question. It's based off of the mesh names. You'll notice when I import this model, it's right here, this mesh is named AM6800M. This is a sub-mesh of this entire mesh, right? Now, if we go inside of the textures folder and we were to look for AM6800M, you'll notice the files for this model are right here. And then what the tool will do is it will automatically assign the defuse, the normal, the metallic. Once I've set the models folder, I can then just set the folder where the textures are. All right, so uh, then I just set the folder there, and then all I have to do is hit the go button, and that is pretty much it. 
yeah, so there it goes. And yeah, uh, now it's just rendering out all of the icon images based on the model files and the textures that you provide. So now if we take a look inside of this FBX folder, now it exports your icons in the same folder as wherever the model files are. So if I go to the output folder, you can see it's rendering out all of these nifty icons, just like this. And again, we have different cameras for the torso, so again, legs, arms, body, head, and you just set them up in this order and everything should work out fine. Of course, you will have to, you know, crop some icons in Photoshop depending on, you know, how the models are positioned, but you can see it's uh, exporting the icon images and it even exports the TB scene file for each model. So if you're like, well, I don't want to adjust this in Photoshop, I kind of want to adjust it in Marmoset, great, good on you. You can just open up this TB scene in Marmoset, make your adjustments, save it, and re-render uh, any of these icons that you want to adjust. And that's pretty much it. That is my process for creating icon renders. Um, again, you would just touch them up in Photoshop or adjust them in Marmoset, and then you should be good to go. All right, hope that helped, and I'll catch you later. See ya.